Hey, what's up guys? This is Flash from Flash Hobbies and today I'm just going to go over um, a quick rebuild for the VXL motor. Uh, this should be done, you know, periodically uh, to check your bearings to see if there's anything wrong with your motor. Um, I just got this motor and I just want to make sure that everything's okay on it before I start running it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to pop off these little tabs here. Um, once you pop these, they are going to expose the screws that you need to take off and it should just pop off like so. It now exposes the back. Uh, this has a little bit of grease on it. I can't remember exactly if this comes from the factory or not, but um, it seems okay. Okay, and the next thing you want to do is there's one, two, three, four screws that you need to remove and you need a one and a half millimeter to remove these. Okay. So we removed all the screws and the next thing we need to do is we need to pop off the back. Um, if you have long fingernails this is where they will come in handy. If not you can use a small thin flathead screwdriver. There might be a little bit of snug, um, a little bit of tugging because the, the magnet's inside. So now you see there's your first bearing. It looks like there's a little bit of grid in there. I'm going to go ahead and replace since I'm already in here. And the next thing is your motor. Now if you want to remove your motor, all you have to do is just, um, with the shaft, just go ahead and push down on it here. Uh, you might need to remove these little two, there's a little washer, two little washers, and you can just go ahead and pull. Pull as hard as you can because uh, the magnets tend to want to draw back inside. And you also have a uh, bearing inside at the end here. We're going to go ahead and pop that out, we're going to flip the can over to where the front is facing up. We're going to use our one and a half millimeter here and we're going to tap it with something on top. Okay, not quite yet. All right, there we go. And there's our front bearing. Now, as you can see, the front bearing is pretty dirty, gritty. It looks worn down, especially from the back. So we will replace these. Uh, you can go ahead and use the replacement Traxxas ones. There's nothing wrong with it uh, for my purposes. So I don't have to keep servicing it so much. I'm going to use ceramic bearings from Avid Racing. I'm going to use two of these, one for the front and one for the back. And also while you're at it, you just want to inspect your magnet, that it's not cracked. Um, a lot of the times if you have a bad motor, you'll have a um, couple cracks inside of your magnet here. Alright, so we've popped out that one. Now we're going to pop out the back one. Pretty much the same step. All right, now we're going to put our bearing in. This is the ceramic bearing. And one trick that I found is if you have a spare drive shaft, something similar to the size, sometimes a pin will work, you just drop in your bearing inside. Kind of get it to line up a little bit and then with the drive shaft just kind of push in and it goes in fairly quickly, fairly easy if there's no grid in there and it's in. Simple as that. Now we just need to rebuild it all together. Go ahead and put your um, your two washers back on your magnet. Let your magnet draw back in. Make sure it lines up with the hole here in the front. Then you want to put um, your back plate back onto your motor and then just make sure that the holes line up. And in case they don't line up, you can use your one and a half millimeter here, kind of jam it in there a little bit and get it to line up. Or if not, you can just go ahead and remove it again and then make sure they line up. Now you put all your screws back in. All right, then you put your cap back on. Make sure it just snaps in there and you should be good to go. Go ahead and plug it in back into your ESC, plug it in, um, start it up, and it should run just fine.